All right, here we go. Applications of systems in three variables. So the goal is to solve applications um, with three unknowns. So we're going to need three variables, three equations. Um, we'll solve and set up our augmented matrix. So number one here, write a system of equations and use an augmented matrix to solve. A theater group sold a total of 440 tickets for $3,940. Each regular ticket costs $5, each premium $15, each elite costs $25. The number of regular tickets was three times the number of premium and elite tickets combined. How many of each type of ticket were sold? So step number one, let's just identify our variables. Let's go X, Y, and Z. So let's go with, uh, let's let X be the regular tickets. So number of regular. Uh, y can be the number of premium. And let's go with Z as the number of elite tickets. Okay, now that you've identified your variables, you should try to write some equations. Um, so I think I mentioned in the last applications video, anytime you see money like this, try to keep all of those figures together. So we could say that <clears throat> each regular, regular ticket costs $5. So we could say that $5 times the number of regular tickets, which is X, we don't know, uh, plus $15 times the number of premium tickets, which is Y. We don't know how many yet. That's what we're trying to find. Plus 25Z, the number of elite tickets. If you add up all that money, we're going to have a total of $3,940. Okay, so that one was pretty easy. We also have enough information right here. There's a total of 440 tickets. We could say that the number of regular plus the number of premium plus the number of elite was 440. So usually there's going to be one that involves X plus Y plus Z equals a total amount of whatever. The third one's going to be a little bit more difficult to see, but it does come from our last um, sentence. Our last, yeah, well, second to last. So it says the number of regular tickets, which is X. We're going to go X equals this word was here. It's just another way to say equals <clears throat> three times uh, the number of premium and elite tickets sold. So three times the number of premium and elite so the number of regular tickets was three times the number of premium and elite tickets. So there is our third equation. Now we want to set up an augmented matrix. So we want them all to look like these first two. We have X plus Y plus Z. We have X, Y, Z on one side. You know, the X's, the Y's, the Z's are all lined up. So the last one, we're going to have to do a little bit of work. So I'm going to take that equation, hop off to the side here. We're just going to solve this thing. We're going to get X, Y, and Z on the same side. Starting with distributing that 3. So X equals 3Y plus 3Z. Um, oops, get out of there. Now we can do one or two things. You could subtract X or because the X, Y, and Z are on the left side. I mean, it doesn't matter where you want to go with it. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to subtract 3Y. So x minus 3y equals 3z, and then I'm going to subtract 3z. So the third and final equation is x minus 3y minus 3z equals, and then there's nothing left, so 0. So essentially what we have here, I'm going to cut this equation out. We started with this equation. Whoa. And we just rewrote it. There we go. And then we can set up our augmented matrix. So we will have uh, 5, 1, 1 for the x's. 15, 1, negative 3 for the y's. 
25, 1, negative 3 for the z's. Draw that bar for the, the where the equal signs are at. And then we have 3,940, 440, and 0. And then from here, it is just calculator work to figure out how many regular premium and elite tickets. So I will post a video on the calculator instructions. Make sure you take a look at that. And then I'll try it with this matrix and see what you should get. Uh, or yeah, and see what the answer should be. All right, we'll do one more here. <clears throat> uh, let's see, what's a good one? Uh, let's skip example two. Here we go. A quilt maker plans to make 14 quilts this year from 113 yards of fabric. A small quilt requires four yards, a medium quilt requires seven, and a large requires... 11 so you can probably guess what our three variables are so we'll go let x be the number of small y will be the number of medium and z will be the number of large okay <clears throat> So we can start with our first equation. We know that there's 14 total quilts. We could say that the number of small plus medium plus large is going to be 14. Okay, and we know um, the total number of yards it takes to make each one is 113. Where the, there we go. 113. So starting with the small quilt, it is going to take... Four yards, so we can say um, 4x because we don't know how many um, small quilts. Plus a medium is going to be 7, so 7y plus a large is going to be 11, so 11z equals 113. And then this last one is going to be a little bit tough, but it says right here she plans to make twice as many large quilts as small quilts. So we could say that the number of large quilts equals two times the number of small quilts. And again, you want um, X, Y, Z on the same side. So I'm actually going to take this equation and scoot it over here. And we're going to do some work here. We're going to start by subtracting 2X. So negative 2X plus Z equals 0. And that's going to be my third equation. And now we can set, that, set up our augmented matrix again. So the x's, we're going to have 1, 4, negative 2. If you look at all the coefficients in front of x. The y's, we're going to have 1, 7. And you notice in this last equation here, there's no y variable. So it means y is 0. Um, and then we will have... For the Z's, it looks like 1, 11, 1. Our answers were 14, 113, and 0. And again, once you watch that video on the calculator instructions, check it out. Let's see what we get for X, Y, and Z.